Hello gamers, my name is Rolezy and today is the day. The brand new Smuggler's Run DLC has been released. Now I've been online for a few hours messing about with this and I got some neat tips and tricks for you guys, uh, kind of like you know what to buy, what not to buy, which hangers to look out for, the reasons why you should buy some of them and the reasons why you shouldn't buy others. I'm using some of the same logic I used buying the bunkers from the gun running DLC and I wanted to share some you know some tips and my knowledge about all this with you guys alright so if you're interested make sure to like the video press that blue thumbs up subscribe to me if you're new and turn on post notifications so you can be notified the instant I come out with any more fresh and informative dope content now without further ado let's get started okay so so you can see right here this is when I first signed online this morning update came out for me at around 6 so go ahead and go on your internet on the phone and go ahead and go to the maze bank foreclosure site now once you enter the site you're gonna see we have five new hangers five new properties you got two of them right down there at LSI pretty cheap those are the cheapest ones I feel like most players are gonna buy those and then you have up at the uh, the Air, Face, uh, Air Force Base at Fort Zancudo guys if you read at the very bottom of each paragraph here, those are you get low level access to all of these hangers. So I'd say really that is one of the biggest plus sides. Cops will not go after you. Now you have three options to choose from here. That's the most expensive at 3.2 million. And then you have this one at 2.6 million. I ended up going with this one because reason being with the hangers, just like the bunkers, everybody's gonna go for the most expensive stuff. Okay, so I go for the one right below that. Now, as for the hanger styles, these are all the customization options. You know I gotta go with blue, same as my crew color. So I was looking at each blue one, $167,000, not bad, I'll take it. Now we go to lighting, kinda pointless I believe, and you know, the, the, the kind of you know golden lighting you know wasn't really working with me, I wanted the clear one, so I just went for the clear one. That other one really didn't fit well with blue, I don't think. Now you have the, uh, the, floor, the floor graphics. These are all pretty unique in their own ways. I didn't really like m many of them. That compass one looked pretty cool with all the directions on it, but that one ended up being my favorite. It's more military style, so I went with the 200 grand. Now you have office furniture. Uh, you know, you got the traditional, the modern. You know that I gotta go with the modern. It looks great with the blue. And now you got living quarters. Now remember, living quarters, you're gonna wanna have that, and of course the modern's the way to go for me. And living quarters are very important because that's also your spawn location. So I said, why not? Let's get it. And the uh, workshop. You're going to want this. Charlie's the new mechanic. $1.15 million. So that's expensive. And check it out. Total price is $4.8 million just for the hangar and all the upgrades. So if you buy the most expensive, you're going to be spending a little bit over $5 million. And I want to show you guys what happens once you buy it when Ron calls you. You bought the hangar. Woohoo! We're in business, baby. Wait. Who's that? Someone's here. Get over here quick. Get to the hangar. I need to show you some things. All right, so now that was the phone call from Ron, Crazy Ron. Now we're making our way over to Fort Zancudo. Like I said, we have low level access to the military base, which means, I mean, according you know to what I read, it seemed to me that we weren't going to get any sort of police resistance or military resistance once we entered the military base, and that's pretty much exactly what happened. I got in right here. Normally, right here, we'd already have stars, and check it out. No stars, no nothing. I can, you know, easily go right in there. We are, you know, it uh, seems like we're under contract with the military. I don't know, but yeah, I can't bring my, of course, the oppressor. It's not a land vehicle or an air vehicle. I don't understand what Rockstar really wants with us, but yeah, you can't bring it in the hangar. But here we go, I'm entering the hangar now, and I wanted to be silent here so you guys can actually hear and see the cutscene and what happens when you enter the hangar for the first time. nonsense from you and you'll join them I've got a space weapon from Russia a Russian hacker space weapon and I'm going to liquidize you just like I did to your friends yes liquidize ow hey hi oh. 
you, you trying to kill me? Oh, God, no! Oh, oh, you're my new partner. You bought into the place. You're late. What kept you? Yeah, well, it's too late. Ah, that bastard Trent. Uh, my best friend? Oh, he's supposed to protect me forever? Then he goes all Vinewood on me. He's too important for Ron now. But he's a guru. He's a lifestyle coach. I don't know what he is. I bet he's got abs. Oh, I am so alone. I just shot two government agents in the head. I mean, I hope they're government agents. I'm screwed. We're screwed. Where's that mechanic? Oh, I mean, that's the only reason I, I let them in. Because I thought it was gonna be him. Ooh, who's that? Hey, boss. Hey, boss! Oh, hey, boss, is that what I get? Well, you're getting a sandwich, I'm getting killed. These two people came to kill me. Not him. He's your new boss. Well, a co-boss with me. This is Charlie. He was in the Air Force. He was accused of a crime he didn't commit. Innocent mistake. Planes crash. He was the fall guy. You know how the deep state is. Char Charlie, get to work. Ignore the corpses. So, anyway. Business is good, and business is bad. Now that's a problem. On one hand, we've got more orders than we can possibly handle. And on the other, I'll be surprised if we're not killed in the next 48 hours. Come on, let me give you a tour. And I can deal with this mess while you get to work. It's really pretty obvious. Okay, now, this is the office where I, uh, we, I mean we, equal partners, we, you, senior partner, run the business. Now, this is the computer. It's very secure. We lose this, we're all dead men. And this is where the job's come through. Yeah? So you can check it out? Okay? Okay, let's move on. Up here is where you can sleep if you want to. It's very comfortable, and it's clean. It was pretty clean. I mean, it's been cleaned at least once. Come on. Now back here is where we store cargo. Now nothing too dodgy. Mostly untaxed cigarettes, stolen pharmaceuticals, and industrial chemicals. But we'll run pretty much anything. Now back there is where you can store any aircraft that we, I mean you, haven't left out here on the main floor. Got plenty of room. I think we can probably take all the planes we'd need. But then, I've never had more than one. And over there's where Charlie works. Hey, Charlie! Ah! You'll like Charlie. He's boring, but he's good. He can really make aircraft fly. That's not what I mean. I mean, he can make aircrafts fly better. You should try him out. His work is amazing. Give me a hand with these bodies. But, oh, I better dump these at sea. Ah! Ooh! Ah! Then I got a little radio thing, but I'll be in touch. I am so glad you're here. You're the best friend I've had, and I mean that. Don't let me down! So, that was the cutscene right there. Uh, tell me if you guys liked it. Tell me if you guys really, you know, are interested in the hangar now just from seeing that. It's kind of the same deal we had from the uh, the bunker when Agent 47 brought us in there. They use, you know, little cuts from that to put into the trailer, so I was expecting a few things to be noticed. But take a look at the hangar, guys. Pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. Matches up with my orange outfit that I put on. Luckily, I did keep all of my modded outfits from the director mode glitch. So, I will go over later what has been patched and what hasn't been patched. I don't know myself, I haven't tested anything yet. I'm just hyped about the new DLC and all the new content. The future videos I'm gonna come out with, probably, you know, upgrading and things like that. But for now, let's focus on the hangar. So, we've already spent oh, close to $5 million just on the hangar alone. So it's pretty pricey with all the upgrades. Now, you're going to go ahead and go into your office where the laptop is. Really nice looking, I'm not going to lie, the, the hangar is massive. It is huge, I'm not going to lie. So, that was kind of unexpected. I, I knew it would be big, but goddamn, you know. So, now, as I expected, just like the, uh, the bunkers, you're going to need to sign in as an MC president, VIP, or a CEO. And then when you first sign into the computer, it's going to ask you to do the setup mission. 
Uh, as you can see right here, I'm accessing my desktop and right away access denied. Authentication must be granted by Ronald, but you know, before we do that, we do have to press setup and start up the setup mission. Just like the bunkers, just like almost every other business we've had in GTA. Now, you can sign up as a CEO. I would recommend that if you have a buzzard and then you can easily just get your buzzard and go. Or if you're a motorcycle president and you have, you know, this right here, you can go and get and use your oppressor. But it's honestly easier just to get a buzzard or steal, you know, an aircraft from the military base, which is exactly what I did. Okay, so I'm in the air right here. Now the setup mission, it says take the mogul. One of the new aircrafts that we're going to be using here. And these aircrafts are pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. You're going to see right here as we land over here by it. I did use the the jet from the military base to kind of blow people up over here. I, I think there was a little bit of resistance, but I took care of them. And here's the plane right here. This is our setup mission. Pretty cool just having to grab a plane and fly it back to, uh, to the uh, air base. Pretty unique, I'm not gonna lie. So I, I am enjoying the DLC, you know, for now, for the time being. This aircraft is pretty cool. You actually have guns, as you can see from the uh, from the little, you know, cursor right in front of the airplane. You do have guns, and fairly close to the location. Honestly, I'd rather get the hangar over here at the uh, Fort Zancudo and go ahead and drive it in. I do think LSI is gonna be packed, especially with, you know, a bunch of people that are lower ranked that don't have a lot of money, setup complete. So I'd say, you know, get something over here. The $2.6 million one I think is the safest bet. A lot of people are gonna buy the most expensive because that's just how it is. And a lot of people are gonna buy the cheapest because that's just how it is. So I always go for somewhere in the middle. All right, I made that mistake in the very beginning with gun running. I wasn't gonna made it, make that same mistake with this one. So now once we've completed the setup mission, we basically are just going to run back up to our office and we're going to go into the laptop. Now in the laptop, Ron is going to go over a little bit of the specifications on the cargo, what we're actually going to be, uh, you know, stealing, delivering, uh, the sales and everything. So I'm going to let you guys hear for yourself. Welcome business partner. This is Ron Tikowski. Damn, damn. I shouldn't say my name. Note to self, edit that bit out. Okay, I prepared this recording to talk you through the basics of our new operation. You'll find all the information you need about stock levels and our holdings on the homepage here. Then, when you're ready to make an acquisition, you hit the source button. Now, you're able to choose what cargo we're hitting here. Now, the deep state doesn't like this. The shadow economy, it's taking tax money away from their pals, the globalist conglomerates. But they make some work harder than the rest. Poisonous, untaxed alcohol and tobacco is easier to go after than Big Pharma's worst enemy. The mind-focusing and totally harmless narcotic stimulants, for example. Now, once you've got some stock, we can look at making a sale. We're a market-driven business. There'll be good deals for what the buyers out there want at any given time. But the real edge comes when we unload a particular cargo in bulk to a big buyer. They tend to throw in a sweetener. That's it. Now, source some stock and hopefully the program I wrote will erase this audio file from your hard drive. If not, see you in court. Uh, uh, jury! I've got mental problems. I'm a fantasist. I'm running for president. And that's it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far. I hope it gives you a rundown of kind of what to expect in this new DLC once you get started. I'm going to come out with a future video today, fully buying everything part of the DLC and upgrading it completely. All right. So for now, I'm done with this one. My name is Roll Easy. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video down below. Press that blue thumbs up comment subscribe if you're new turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope content for gta 5 online i'm roll easy and i'm out of here guys take it easy